here's my master panel and if I do control tab there's my glass panel and if I do another control tab there's my building so I'm going to go back to the the glass panel and say load that into the project that was called master panel <coughs> now that I've got it in the project what I can do is I can place it in here so I'm nesting one family within another if I um, if I bring this over here make this a little bit clearer if I go down under families and um, under structural framing that's the category that I assigned to it so I can come out here and I can drag this into my family and you notice that the four points can be anywhere so I'm just going to snap to the four corners of my frame that I have in there um, I'm not being it's this is not really like terribly practical but I'm just illustrating the point that I can put one family inside another family. I'm going to save that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say why don't you load that into the mass building where we have the finished form of the building. So if I if I do that that's me loaded it into this building. I can now come up and if I choose to divide my surface and I think we had said um, that we used the uh, a distance of five feet and a distance of so a distance of five feet <clears throat> and the pattern that I want if I go down under my rectangle the one I just loaded in was this one called master panel so that would come into my my model. Okay, so there it is. And you'll see that I've actually got in my model some uh, partial panels at the end here. So you typically wouldn't want, uh, th these are kind of special end conditions, so you probably wouldn't want uh, chunks of a panel. So if I, if I pick the surface here, what I'm going to do is, is say show me empty which will mean that the, these end conditions where I've only got partial panels are not displayed anymore. And now down here, if I, uh, if I zoomed in, say, on this corner, I'll try and turn it a little bit to show you what's going on. Um, if I pick on the panel there, and I think actually I should be able to turn off the component, but turn on the pattern and the surface so that you can see the option there. And I th think there's an option where I can actually look at, um, I'm not sure if this is not showing because my screen is compressed because of the, so I think um, I can turn on the nodes, yes there we go, turning on the nodes on the surface and what this would let me do is where I have an adaptive panel, sorry an adaptive component like this, remember it was made up of like four points, um, I can come in and snap one, two, three, Right, so I'm actually able to just kind of physically place them in the model where I want them to be. And it might not be obvious, but they are actually um, adapting to the surface conditions of the... Oops, I think I picked the wrong one there though. <laughs> Let me uh, delete it. Delete it and just try again. I'm going to turn it a little bit so I can see a little more. Node, node. Node there. Just pay a bit more attention to the to the snaps. So if I turn this, 
that's that's another uh, uh, example of where you would use adaptive panels. So I'm going to go back to my uh, constraints here and say, show me the components, don't show me the pattern, don't show me the surface. That's how I could work on my model. <laughs>